What's up, y'all? Y'all see me and Snoop. Snoop Loops, bro, this fool, we came a long way. We've been feeding the community. The more we make, the more we give. And Snoop, you know when you're doing something good. The devil got to show up. Yep. He got to show up. He got to make his face present. And he got to, you know, try to knock us down. But yep. we did this for the people. We did this for the family. We did this to make sure that people had something to eat. P has been out there touching these kids, making sure that they got lots of food, making sure that these homes and these people that deal with the homeless and getting them back on their feet have access to this. So we're doing a good thing. So and we you know, every time you do a good thing, man, they try to take us off the shelves. They want to ban us. And, you know, when you look at these big companies and all these big old brands, they just ain't used. And we used to seeing African-American owners of cereals. Right. And uh, this has been happening for over 100 years. We're just trying to add some diversity into the in, in, into the stores. Like, we're not trying to knock nobody. We're just saying, you know what? We want to make some for our people. We want to make something that is a little bit diverse, a little bit more, you know, intertwined with the world that we're living in right now. Because a lot of those cereals are based off of past. Yeah. This is something that's future. This is something that the kids can get with. They love them. They've been enjoying them. Shut and everybody. So this is we make product for whites, blacks, Asian, Latinos. We make product we make for product everybody. For people. For people. That's what we do. Yeah, we make people product. And y'all know we're going to keep growing, keep going. Even if they take us off the shelves and tell us to change our name, they don't want Snoop Loops in the shelves. And you know what? Why, man? I'm Snoop and I've been in the loop. Yeah, but you know what's new? <laughs> That's how it happened, dog. But guess what? What up? We're going to come up with something. We're asking y'all what y'all think we should brand our next cereal to put on the shelf. So y'all come up with some names. Me and Snoop going to think yeah, about give it. Give us some suggestions. Yeah, and we ain't stopping. Nah. This is only the beginning. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. Shout out to Snoop Dogg and Master P. You know, two entrepreneurs, two bosses. One a boss of No Limit Records, the other boss of Death Row. You know, uh, they talked about, I guess, the cereal industry is trying to get their cereal taken off the shelves. If I had to guess, probably Fruit Loops. They probably feel like the name's too similar, you know, with Snoop Loops, even though we all know what Snoop is. He's been around, you know, since the early 90s. He got to be definitely one of the top five most favorite, I mean, famous known rappers of all time. So, you know, I can kind of see that. They didn't really go into detail as the how or why they're being taken off the shelf. So if I had to guess, that would probably be it. But, you know, I find it interesting that, you know, they're trying to aim for the cereal industry because, you know, we've been seeing the same brands our whole entire lives. To be honest, I don't really think it's too many brands out there. Like, yeah, there's a lot of cereal brands, but I think it's always been the same exact ones, if you know what I mean. Like, it's never been no new, innovative brands coming out. So I think they definitely see it as a threat to see, you know, a black, a black owned cereal company coming in and not knowing what they're going to do to the industry. Maybe it's going to take sales away. I don't know. You know, I don't know much about it, but, you know, we'll definitely be staying tuned to that. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.